Welcome back, gang. It's Deltia from DeltiasGaming.com. We're back with Master Writ, something new and exciting for crafters in Update 13. This allows you to get the new target skeleton, so I want to make sure you guys know about this and get prepared. Are you ready? Master Ritz. The most important thing to know about these are you have to be at max tier and they have really good rewards. So the new materials, the new motifs, and the new target skeleton, uh, ethereal ambrosia, make the potion recipes. So they're rare, they're difficult, but it's going to be very important if you want to get some of the new cool stuff to level up your character's crafting and get master it. So here's how you can increase your RNG chances. So this is from a developer post on the forums and essentially what you need to do if you want to get a more likelihood of getting this is to just basically improve your traits, learning it from clothing, uh, blacksmithing and woodworking. So provisioning, you need to get unlock purple and blue recipes. Those are really easy to get right now. And alchemy, unlock your regions. So there's a bunch of easy writs you can do like provisioning alchemy daily, they don't cost a whole lot. And those are probably your best bet for getting this if you wanna do it cheaply. Though do note that I got this on a guy that just had maximum blacksmithing and zero traits learned zero motives besides the one default one that he knew. So it is possible to still get it with just the basics. Once you get one of those sealed envelopes, you open it up and it unlocks a quest where you have to go craft something specific and upgrade it to a certain level in order to complete the quest. So I had uh, alchemy, but it was broken on the PTS, so this is a different one. So let's go craft it. So you'll need to go to a various crafting station regarding the set bonus and where you need to go. So you'll have to do a specific style. Something to note about this is read what the quality is. So if it says epic and you make it one below or one above, it won't qualify for a turn in. So if you already have a weapon and you think, hey, I just want to turn this in to get a crafting writ, you really need to craft it at that specific level, at that specific set in order to get it. And usually it will just pop up on your screen like it does right about now. So if you that thing pops up, don't mess with it. Go turn it in. So here we are at the vendor that pops up and basically you can finish your job and turn it in for a writ voucher. Now we don't know what the actual prices are gonna be, like how many of these are, so it just says one for now, but you can see there is a ton of rewards. So in order to craft some of those black station, clothing, uh, stations in your house, so tons and tons of stuff regarding uh, home and schematics. You'll also notice the ebony armor, so they'll have, they'll have ebony armor, uh, the material you'll need to use it, and then actually the motives, and then a gold book as well if you want to buy all of it. And then the most important thing is the crafting dummy, so the design for that. So that's what our next video is going to be, is how to create the crafting dummy. But you got ethereal powder, you got all sorts of stuff, so these crafting writs are going to become extremely important, extremely valuable. Some tips for you in doing Master Crafting Ritz is basically level up other characters besides maybe say your Master Crafter like King Fultess here. Level up all their skills if you can, you have the extra time. So what I've done throughout my years playing Elder Scrolls Online is basically had all these characters and I go do a dungeon, I'd have extra stuff to decon. I wouldn't just decon my main crafter, I'd start doing other characters like Inferno Nugget. Once he got done, he maxed out blacksmithing, woodworking, clothing. I go on to this guy, Deltia, and so on and so forth. So now I'm sitting at 12 characters, all with 50 clothing, blacksmithing, and woodworking. If you're looking for a cheap alternative to provisioning alchemy, go buy all the blue, purple mats that are really cheap, give them to a bunch of your characters. Uh, alchemy guide on my website has how to unlock all the traits and learn those. So that's how you get prepared for Master Ritz, and I hope this video helps you because when it launches in February, I know I'm going to be crafting my booty off.